This video is going to show you how I use ozone to find problems with my mix and how to finalize it for the mastering process. First thing I'm going to do is open up ozone. So I'm going to play my song and check out the post equalizer. It's not up to the rest of the lines because it's not as loud. It's not being pushed as much, well, especially because the maximizer isn't on. But I'll get to that in a second. All these different colored lines up top are called snapshots. Basically, I play these songs at their drops or most exciting points, and I recorded the EQ curves. The sub bass frequencies are cut out, it peaks at around 60 hertz, and then it follows a smooth curve down. So that's my goal for the song, to make the curve smooth and similar to the one here. Let's turn on the maximizer to make it a little louder. I try not to let this number down here get up to 6. Notice my curve seems to be pretty straight with the others, except when it gets to here. And here seems to be a little loud as well. So around 90 to 100 hertz, and this is 316 hertz. So first I'm going to listen to the lead. That's definitely where this one's coming from. Now I did have an EQ on it, to cut out some of the lows. is represented alone in the track. It looks like there's some higher frequencies that could be cut out. Now let's put this EQ8 on it. Totally cutting out all of the highs and the mids. You see a lot of the frequencies are cut out those are just going to cause mud in the track and you don't need those anyway. Sometimes just making a few adjustments like I did is going to clean up the track and just make it sound better overall. So I'd recommend recording some snapshots of your own, of some songs that you want your songs to sound like, and just see how they compare. Try to compare a group of songs as well, not just one at a time. I know I've recorded it in some Skrillex tracks, and I know those snapshots are just ridiculous. The, the, the frequencies are nothing like the ones that I have here. One last thing I want to cover is going to be matching. Uh, you can match frequencies in Ozone. So, for example, um, here's a snapshot, um, snapshot 5, the orange one. I click match from, match to, uh, say clap, or I can change it to the, re the reward is cheese. I'm just going to keep it on clap. Ozone is going to match the frequencies of my song with the frequencies of the song that I choose to match them to. So, for this song, apparently I need a little bit more highs, a little bit lower um, high mids, maybe uh, take away some bass. If you change the amount, it gets more extreme. 
change how smooth it is too. If I were going to do this, I might do something like this. Just something very lightly. You don't want something hard and heavy. I've made that mistake before and it did not turn out well. Um, maybe just look at the differences. Like notice that you have a little bit too much bass and a little bit too much highs. So you can go back into your song, maybe turn the bass down a little bit and turn down different instruments to match the other song. Again, I would not recommend just changing all of your frequencies based off of this matching. And that's why I don't use it unless I'm just trying to visualize what I need to change in my track. But I hope this tutorial cleared some things up and I hope it gets you on the right track to a better sounding mix.